Hey, so how's it going? Um, so I got a question from somebody on, um, on Facebook asking me about ozone and um, uh, things like that. And I, I figured I could lasso it, lasso it or, or sort of bring it all into like one video that I've been wanting to talk about. So um, that is agelessness, firstly which is like a really whole big deal that I'm, I'm doing right now, um, that I'm staying on of just being like, like I look at people that are my age, um, not saying I look young, but I'm, I'm ageless for sure. I got that fucker down and I'm just looking to improve on it all the time. And I'm finding out about all kinds of things. The other thing is, is the navigating the highs and lows of a wellness program. Um, which I think is really important, and, and then now that, that's what comes into the whole ozone thing. So, um, let me lead into the ozone thing. What I think is most important now, the life that I'm living, is steadiness of getting up in the morning, having all the right sort of um, routines in order for me used to always start off technically bad right away, uh, coffee. And then I would have healthy stuff and then on and off in my life. Um, and, and for me, usually like my whole relationship with marijuana. And I'm not going to tell you that I used to like to, that I was using it as a coping mechanism. I like to disappear I like to be in my own little insular world and the marijuana facilitated that. And once I did a lot more, got more into spiritual practice. And I don't mean it just came like, like in like, oh, I, I got a spiritual practice down. I had like months where I'd have it right. And as I've said before, I'm not enemies with pot. I don't want to be enemies with pot. I'm not enemies with anything. I'm enemies with, with sort of dogma, with um, binary thinking. Um, but anyway, so, um, so I, I got to this point where it really started, I guess, when I got back from Thailand, um, uh, steadiness of just being, um, firstly, like, and I really think it all had to do with the redo of my house. You know, because I rebuilt my kitchen to be a raw vegan kitchen. There's no stove in there. There's no, it's not like nothing about my life is conventional now. And um, I think this is something that I'm getting on with what I've been saying a lot of times of like, people sort of want to be extraordinary or do extraordinary things in a society that's, that's, that's failing. Um of doing things like, like, like I want to look good, but like, you know, like there's this kind of sex, this sexiness thing and, and it's, people can do what they want, but, but as you get older, like, like sexy is like, like, se like you're just not going to be able to operate on that level. That, that's, a uh, um, it just doesn't work. Like, and so for me, like I just saw this video with, uh, Marcus Rosecrans and Carla Brotman, which those people have really good information, but they're really stuck on this sexy thing. And um, they're sort of barking up a tree of where, in my opinion, they're sort of lying about plastic surgery. Um, they say they're not having plastic surgery. Anybody who has any fucking sense whatsoever can look at those motherfuckers and I don't buy it. I don't buy it. And, and they could be actually extraordinary, like, like, avatar spiritual beings but if they were extraordinary avatar beings they wouldn't be like pushing this whole like photograph sexy like 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 i'm ha i'm trying to avoid calling it bullshit but it's like the way that i look at it it's like bullshit like like doing something to like you get what i'm saying it's it, it's a lifestyle that's one of humility that's one about what humans are really about of being conscious of being creative, and of, um, uh, w how I got on this rail was, like, about society, of, like, like, you don't, you've got to get outside of the things that people find important, and, and do your, really your own thing, and get inside your heart, and stop, um, 
being defined by stuff, being like some form of minimalist. Like I'm actually not really a true minimalist. Like I got fucking shit tons of like synthesizers and shit like that. Like um, I don't have any furniture in my house. I don't have any like I have an old truck that I drive, and I don't. I'm not like defined by stuff. So you have to be defined by yourself. And so that's the point that I've gotten to is I've I've minimalized my ha- my life down to who I really am and of doing um, day-to-day practices that really define the things that are important to me. Spiritual life is important to me. And also doing a spiritual life that's not stuck in an old school like dogma. Like I'm inventing my own, um, I don't even want to call it a religion, my own personal practice, which is based around paganism, around um, uh, Vedic Hinduism, whatever you want to call it, High Krishna principles, um, high magic, um, Wicca. Did I say pagan Wicca? Um, And then just in general, like like because of a steady meditation practice, a steady visualization practice, a steady practice of being positive, of working with deities. I work with archangels. That's that's a big thing, major major breakthrough for me. So. so this sounds like maybe I've run off topic, but I haven't. Those are all the things that I've done that have got me away from this up and down. Like, like to be well, to be healthy, to like be in a world where you can walk into society. Like when I went on my trip with my parents, um, where you can walk into a fucking war zone and you can still be yourself. Like, I don't got to go run away to Costa Rica to be healthy. I don't got to run away to Hawaii and surround myself with a bunch of, I'm not like, I just, there's just a a, a way that you're going to heal the world and and have more um, impact. Because at the end of the day, even though I advocate like being um, within yourself and having like a sort of hermit side to yourself, it's still, we're here together. And so like running away to like some place, like I'd rather be in the war zone uh, doing what I do because that's going to um, help the world more. And that's another thing. It sounds like I'm off track again. I'm not. Of just um, having more of a loving attitude towards people. And those are all the things that have contributed to me being a better um healthier person with like less money spending on it like like i'm not taking a shit ton of green powders and superfoods i'm 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 just staying hydrated i'm doing i've been doing urine steady urine therapy every day for four months it's cheap (laughs) doesn't cost anything actually um juicing you know um and again sproutarian cornerstone of my diet raw vegan sproutarian cornerstone Fermented foods going on all the time. Cornerstone. Eating foods that I like. Um, I love sprouts. especially love buckwheat sprouts. Um, I love really good uh, dehydrator concoctions that I do. You can see my stuff on Instagram if you want. That's I'm Live Rockstar on Instagram. Um, so what am I saying here? That the ozone therapy like was just... It didn't really do anything, like, because I didn't really have a foundational lifestyle together. And I honestly feel that as I get a foundational lifestyle together, um, I'm not going to need that. Like, I think that that could be like a, a, what do I think about that? I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not taking a lot of tonic herbs. You know, uh, ozone therapy was not the most expensive thing I ever did. The most expensive thing I ever did was when I followed everything Truth Calkins could throw at me of like what he was doing, of being a person that lived at Los Angeles, working at Air One, getting everything that he was doing at cost, basically, and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I spent a fuck ton of money, $1,500 a month, probably, if not closer to 2000 By the time I bought some of the appliances and things, I didn't have like rebounders and magnetic beds. Magnetic bed, I love. Like, so I don't, I don't even know all of the things I've done. But like, the question is about ozone therapy that I got from this guy, Mark Reardon, um, who messaged me on Facebook. 
and asking me what I thought about that. And um, it's first off to like really like heal a major chronic condition, like you've got to have a um, a, a mechanic or a medical device put in you because your body can't take much more ozone than than like every other week that's like i did it like week after week for like the first like probably eight weeks and then your veins just get that like like ozone it's like it's it's o3 it's it's oxygen with an extra oxygen molecule in it so it's like it's kind of too much for the body and so um you can't take you can't you can't take that much and then i started getting into the thinking like i'm not a big science person i really don't want to do science i prefer to like sort of channel information sort of intuit things that i feel myself you know oxygen you know why is there antioxidants i'm thinking about that whole thing is because oxygen ages the body so i did get a lot of color i look great now like i'm not like really spending a lot of money so i'm saying ozone therapy If you're in a more desperate situation, like, like, I don't know what to say. I talk to a lot of people that think I'm extreme. A lot of people have contacted me about HIV because of this movie that I've been in called HIV. Uh, um, I always forget the title because she changed the title on it. Um, HIV. Um, why am I drawing a fucking blank on it right now? HIV. Um, Behind the Fear, that's the current title. It used to be HIV, a whole different story. And um, people have contacted me and they're just like, you know, they haven't even, they haven't even scratched the surface with, with anything. Like a chap called me from, uh, uh, was it Finland? No, it was Romania or something like that. Um, on Messenger on Facebook, still smoking cigarettes. Uh, that's that's like that's that's fucking out the door dude like you can't do anything like that like um stress you know uh uh bad toxic people you know there's another guy who's um i talked to on and off a couple of people i've talked to on and off are in toxic relationships that's fine like that's that's or, and when i say toxic relationship of not being in a relationship that's 100% um uh, um nurturing to a healthy lifestyle have to have that or you got to like part ways but you know it's all about karma you can't just part ways with with whoever like like you know if you're like meant to be with somebody and maybe you're just meant to like sort of not beat hiv or not beat the disease that you're with or not do something and there's something else bigger that's going on and that's why you have to get into spiritual life and understand a lot of those principles and stuff like that and so um what let me just like wrap this up and say that that really the ultimate healing thing is is, is getting into a, a, a meditation practice dealing with your emotions i can't stress this enough human beings need to feel good there's so much of the things that like i was talking to i got my blood drawn today and all that kind of stuff and i was talking to my doctor about the four aspects of of like health and he was like Oh yeah, the the there's there's scientific proof that the the physical and the mental are really connected, and I, and and there's a point where you 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 don't want to own the room of where you could talk more like like dude, you only got half the fucking picture, man. Um, the emotions are what controls, because the reason the mental goes loony is because the emotions are not happy, and so so the 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 the. Two big things that you got to get right is the spirituality, which is the purpose, which is why you're here. The second thing is that as being human beings, we want to feel good. Nobody talks enough about that. That's a big motherfucking thing. They want to feel good from being connected and giving, getting that dopamine release and those brain chemical rewards and all that. And then the mental, which is the little like like red-headed stepchild the little fucking bastard like the reason that that goes crazy is because the other two aren't right and so then the mental starts affecting the physical so you really got to step out society and you really got to question science and you got to really question 
uh, psychological sciences and all those kind of things. So ozone therapy, I say no. Um, it's okay. It's it's a fun thing to do. A lot of things are fun to do. It's fun to get like a lot of colonics and see like all the possibilities with that, you know. But you can start a home practice and do that on your on your own and save one hundred and thirty dollars or whatever they cost these days. Um, all right, it's Keith Live Rockstar. Support me by supporting my music links in the drop down. Um, secondculture.bandcamp.com um, second-culture.com a uh, bunch of new videos I got new, a new record coming out a uh, new CD just getting more and more creative really finding myself and uh, that's the end of the blog namaste bright blessings <laughs>